This is the RTE News at One with Brian Dobson. Good afternoon. The headlines this Tuesday lunchtime. A cabinet meeting is getting underway this lunchtime during which ministers will decide on the time and manner of easing coronavirus restrictions. The PSNI Chief Constable Simon Byrne has described a report on policing in South Armagh as challenging reading. And Ireland's population has risen above 5 million for the first time in 170 years. The news in detail now with Brian Jennings. Government ministers have been arriving at Dublin Castle for a meeting that will address specific dates for easing the country out of coronavirus restrictions. It's almost 7 o'clock on 2FM with My Expressway. Enjoy more ways to pay, including contactless, mobile and leap card. It's a game changer. Find out more at expressway.ie. Live across the nation and on the RTE radio player, this is RTE 2FM. It's seven o'clock. I'm Emma Cunahan. The Cabinet will sign off today on a timetable for the unwinding of almost all COVID curbs from next Monday, including the phased return to the workplace from the 20th of September. Of August entry. <laughs> Don't you worry, I will have my revenge. The Belgian Grand Prix didn't go as planned. <laughs> Half past well, seven. at least it wasn't the Abu Dhabi one. We're heading over to the newsroom now to get the headlines. <laughs> Almost all remaining COVID-19 restrictions will be lifted by the 22nd of October. Good morning, welcome to a brand new day. Tuesday, August 31st, I'm Will Leahy with Gold Breakfast, live at 8 o'clock. Online, on your smartphone and on your smart speaker. This is RTE Gold. Yeah. Another hour of the greatest non-stop and ad-free is just about to kick off at the Dandy Warhols and birthday boy Van Morrison first at eight, the latest from the RT newsroom. And the last US military flight has left Kabul airport, marking the end of a 20-year presence in Afghanistan and America's longest war. Greatest songs all weekend long. Half past eight now. Elton John in just 30 seconds. First, the latest from the RT newsroom. And the last U.S. military flight has left Kabul airport, marking the end of a 20-year presence in Afghanistan. In sport, another medal for Ireland in Tokyo overnight. And as Pori Carrington turns 50, we ask, is he our greatest ever sports person? All that and more, but first with the morning headlines, here's Shane Beatty. Across Ireland. Across Ireland. This is the Imro Radio Awards National Station of the Year. This is... News it's seven o'clock. Good morning. I'm Trish Laverty. The government will today publish its long awaited roadmap out of COVID 19 restrictions. Title of, of best ever Irish sports person, of course. Happy birthday to him, age 50 today. The time now is 7 31. Let's take the news headlines with Trish Laverty. Kira, the government will today publish its long-awaited roadmap out of COVID restrictions. It's been cleared now from the N7 outbound after Junction 4, a wrath cool. So all clear there. 8 o'clock in the morning, just after 8. It's a minute past 8 now. Let's get your latest news update from Raid Cleary. Good morning. On FM. On the Today FM app. And on your smart speaker. Play Today FM. Good morning. Team Ireland has struck gold for a third time at the Paralympic Games. We are told this morning. OK, let's take a look and see what the weather conditions are going to be. Mainly dry and cloudy this morning. Just the chance of a little drizzle at times. Brighter conditions, some hazy, sunny spells developing through the day. Best of which will be across Connacht and Ulster. Highest temperatures today between 15 and 19 degrees Celsius. OK, we've got the sport coming up and more gold for Ireland at the Paralympics. Give you all the details very soon with Philip Egan. First of all, your news headlines with Mairead Cleary. Morning, Mairead. Morning, Ian. Thank you. Office workers can start heading back to work in person from September 20th, while attendance at matches and concerts is due to be increased from next week. MCMNWindows.ie The Nile Boylan Show. Weekdays from midday. Ireland's classic hits. On FM. Digital. And your smart speaker. This is the home of the 80s and 90s. This is Ireland's Classic Hits Radio. 
Another mostly dry but fairly cloudy day ahead. It's six o'clock. Good morning. I'm Tara Duggan. Capacity on public transport returns to 100% from today. Classic hits. The morning. home of the 80s and 90s. Good morning, everybody. Just 6.30 now. Let's go to the newsroom. Tara has an update. Thank you, Colin. Well, capacity on public transport returns to 100% from today. For even lower prices, Sainsbury's at ShopRite, proudly locally owned. Coming up, local students go back to school next week, but what can they do to reduce the risk of catching COVID-19? And at 8.45, we'll do your first qualifying question of the week for Ben's Big Quiz. You want to come on and have a go? Ten past nine, win big prizes from Manx Petroleum at the end of the week. We're online, we're on smartphone apps, smart speaker, FM and AM from Douglas in the Isle of Man, Shaw Radio Bannon for Tuesday morning. This is Manx Radio. It's eight o'clock, time for the news with Rianne Evans. More am I, Rianne. More am I, good morning. First-time buyers are substantially undersupplied in the island's housing market. You're more than welcome to get in touch with your thoughts then. Man Benham Advocates, for your legal needs. 22 minutes past eight, let's join Rianne for the headlines. A local estate agent believes first-time buyers are substantially undersupplied in the island's housing market. That's right, up to 40% off in 3rd of September. On air. 104 to 106. Online. At 3.fm. Facebook. Twitter. Instagram. This is 3FM News. From the Sky News Centre at 6, the government's holding talks with the Taliban to ensure Britons can safely leave Afghanistan. And remember, if you like music exactly like this, well, Ron is back again doing Late Night Love, 10pm to 1am every Sunday to Thursday. And you can find out all information and more on 3.fm. But right now, it's time for your news headlines with Ariane. 3FM News. Good morning. The UK government says it's holding talks with the Taliban to ensure any remaining Britons in Afghanistan who want to leave can do so safely. On air, online and on your smart speaker. Energy FM. News. The top stories this hour, I'm Sean Moore. The UK government's holding talks with the Taliban to ensure Britons can safely leave Afghanistan. NHFM with DB Boulevard and Point of View. That is just pure nostalgia, that track. Brilliant. On FM, online, on your smart speaker, across the Isle of Man, it's NHFM 731. Let's get the latest headlines with Sean. Being headlines this hour, I'm Sean Moore. UK government officials are in talks with the Taliban about ensuring Britons can safely leave Afghanistan. I do hear, though, that towards the end of the week, weather-wise, it's looking modified, like proper beach sort of weather. So we'll have a detailed weather forecast from the team at the Jersey Met Department on the way in about half an hour's time, too. From the BBC Sounds app, on your smart speaker. Play BBC Radio Jersey. And on your radio. The Sounds of Jersey is BBC Radio Jersey. At 7 o'clock with the latest for Jersey, I'm Chris Stone. The United States has completed its withdrawal from Afghanistan nearly 20 years after it led the invasion of the country in response to the 9-11 terror attacks. And why you've got even more reason to be a good Samaritan and stop by its centre in Jersey. It's all on the way. But first, it's 7.30 and Chris Stone has the news. Morning. Good morning. A charity is hoping the Channel Islands will act to help refugees from Afghanistan after the US withdrawal from that country. You should contact Cambret and sign up for their next training scheme. You care, we care, Cambret care. Play Channel 103. On your smart speaker. Mobile. And your radio. Across Jersey. This is Channel 103. It's seven o'clock. Good morning. I'm Julia Heath. UK government officials are in talks with the Taliban about ensuring Britons can safely leave Afghanistan. Discover style to inspire at CP Interiors. 
Good morning. It's 7.30 Wednesday morning and here is Julia with your headlines and your sport. Thank you, Peter. Good morning. It's been revealed UK government officials are in talks with the Taliban to ensure Britons get a safe exit if they want to leave Afghanistan. Uh, exactly seven o'clock now on Tuesday morning. We will tell you who's right in the puzzle after the very latest news. On the BBC Sounds app, on your smart speaker, play BBC Radio Guernsey. And on your radio, the sound of Guernsey is BBC Radio Guernsey. At seven with the latest for Guernsey, I'm Nick Degari. A Guernsey hotelier has denied convincing the island's most senior politician to turn a blind eye to a breach of coronavirus restrictions. Pizza Hut says it's launching 125 new takeaway locations over the next three years. Would you welcome a Pizza Hut here? 8.30, let's go to Nick with Guernsey's headlines. A long-serving deputy has described an investigation into an isolation breach as one of the most extraordinary news stories in decades. Good old-fashioned Barraway. Play Island FM. On your smart speaker. Mobile. And your radio. Across the bailiwick. This is Island FM. It's 8 o'clock. Good morning. I'm Jim Delbridge. The Home Office says Afghans who work with the British government and military will be able to move to the UK permanently. And uh, then there's Cruz and Harper Ray. Does he come some, he's somewhere in the middle. Yeah. Uh, happy birthday to you. If you celebrate your birthday today from all the team here at Island FM, we just want to say to you, happy birthday. Have an amazing day. Time for the latest headline news. With all the latest this morning, here is Jim Delbridge. Well, James, Joe Biden's defended the evacuation of U.S. troops from Afghanistan, saying the mission was an extraordinary success. 